Hey there, it's Red Knight here and welcome back to Hey Day. Now today's video is all about one aspect of the game and I'm going to be talking about the Hey Day animals. Now as I introduce the video I'd like you to watch this first part of the game which is the loading screen. Notice the pig and the chicken as they are frolicking about in the clouds and thoroughly enjoying themselves. I do so like it when they pop up from the clouds and scare each other. Now this is your first introduction to basically animals in the game. Now the animals fall into some key categories. There are your farm animals, there are your tree and bush animals, there are your fishing area animals, there are your pets and then your decorative animals. Now depending on which animals you are looking at or interacting with will depend on their function. So as an example, if you are looking at, say, the farm animals, you're going to need to be purchasing shelters for them and they will produce goods which you can then sell or maybe use to feed other animals, depending on which animal. If you're purchasing pets, okay, pets are more of the decorative kind of option and you can interact with them and they do give you some really nice rewards and experience points as well but you are going to require lots of vouchers and gold coins. Now all of this information I'm going to tell you throughout the game. So let's have a look at some of them. Well, first of all, there's the decorative animals. Now there are two key decorative animals that we all like within the game. The first one is the raven, and I do so like this raven. If you just flick on the raven when he first appears, he will move off to the side in whichever direction you flick him, and you can see the feathers fly. The next decorative animal is the fox, and if you're lucky you can try to capture some of these and have a little foxed off area. Now other decorative animals could also include birds, butterflies and frogs etc but they're very minute and not so important. Now just like Greg here I'm an animal lover and I do like to have pets. They will cost you lots of vouchers and they will cost you lots of coins. Now Greg, he prefers the cats, I'm more of a dog lover myself, but within all of the pet animals that you can have, it, it will depend on your taste and you can pick and choose which pet you wish to purchase. But as I said, they will cost vouchers and they will cost coins and they can be quite expensive. Now to get a pet you're going to have to purchase a house and depending on the actual pet will depend on the kind of house. For example with the cats you've got to purchase a nice little cat house. Now you can have two cat houses that are available at certain levels and then each cat house will hold up to three cats. Do they have to be the same cats? No they don't. You can pick and choose. Now within the game you will get three key cats and if you wanted to you can have all three of those cats located in each cat house. So if you think about it you've got two cat houses, there are three cats, that's six pets in total within the cats that you can have. Do you have to have them all? No you don't. But every time you actually add a cat to your farm a new feed bowl will be added to the front of one of your cat houses for you to be able to feed that pet. And once they've actually been designated to a specific cat house you cannot change them. And then this is the same with any of the animals within the game. Once you've allocated them to a home they are permanently based in that home and they cannot be changed around. And again, once you've added them to your farm, you cannot remove them. They are a permanent fixture. So please don't think, hey, I can buy them now and get rid of them later. Not going to be. An animal is for life. A pet is for life. Please do remember that. It's forever. Now, the cats are great. I think they're beautiful. But if I were to think about the cats in more detail, I think I prefer the kittens. Now, just like the cats, you can have three different kinds of kittens. Now, you've got a tabby cat, you've got a tabby kitten, you've got a calico cat, you've got the calico kitten, you've got a tuxedo cat and a tuxedo kitten. They don't all come at the same level. And as you're watching here, you can see when the levels do appear based on the little comments that I'm adding to each of these still images. So do watch and read at the same time. Now, when you first purchase a home for your pets, as I said, okay, you need to add the pet. Now, when you first 
buy a pet home there is no feeding tray when you drag that pet out the feeding tray comes up like you've just got there it's going to tell you it's hungry it's going to cry look at you you then tap on the pet home again and it gives you the option of feeding now in this case it's milk I drag the milk down over the pet home and milk goes into the bowl my animal laps it up and then once it's finished drinking the bowl is empty it runs around and falls asleep and then you just wake it up by blowing the whistle now depending on the animal will depend on the food and will depend on its wake up process but you get experience points and if you are lucky you will also get expansion materials as well so it's well worth having pets because one you get to feed them two they get to run around your farm and you get to enjoy their actions and they do look really awesome three you get to get experience points which goes towards your final total and you also get some expansion materials which can be very very nice especially if you're looking to expand your barn and silo or other aspects of that game now when it came to the levels that tabby cat was from level 21 and 29 whereas the tabby kitten is from level 49 and 58 now why are they not at the same level well like most of the animals as I said they are going to cost you vouchers and if all of the pets came at the same time it can be really expensive and you are going to need to save up to purchase all of these pets now thankfully they do come at different stages so you don't have to worry about it too much. If you want to purchase any of these pets just purchase them from the shop which is that little icon down on the left hand side of your game. When you tap on that you can find the animals located within the listing there and once you've actually purchased the home you can then add the pets to your farm. And they are quite beautiful. I think when it comes to the actual pets itself, okay, I like the cats and I like the kittens, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm more of a dog lover. And speaking of dogs, I think we should start looking at those now. Now, the dogs, okay, they do start again at certain levels. You need to purchase a dog house. Every time you add a dog to your dog house, it adds a new bowl. So you can have two dog houses. Each dog house has maximum of three bowls. So in total, you're again looking at six dogs. And this is the same when it comes to the puppies as well. Each of these pets will give you experience points once you've gone through their feeding and sleeping cycle. And just like you saw with the kittens, it's for a certain amount of time. Now please do pay attention to this time because it can be really important if you are after actually getting experience points. Now, do you need to be feeding your pets all the time? No, you don't. Is it going to hurt the game if you don't feed them all the time and you need your resources for something else within the game? No, it's not. If you want to, you can leave your pets just sitting there sleeping or sitting there hungry. Actually, I wouldn't leave them hungry because they give you a really sorrowful look. And then there's kind of like, feed me, master, you're letting me starve. So usually I just let them sleep. Now, if they're actually sleeping, they're not causing any issues, they're not running around, and you don't have to worry about keep feeding them. You can use your bacon or your milk elsewhere within the game. Now, where do you get the milk from? Where do you get the bacon from? Well, the milk is going to come from your cows, and I'll talk about those later. The bacon's going to come from your pigs, and I'll talk about those later as well. But they do need feeding. Now, as I said, I'm a dog lover, and I think for myself when it comes to the dogs, the puppies are awesome. Now, I'm so glad that they added the kittens and the puppies to the game. It, it made it more exciting, more enjoyable, and I know there are many friends of mine out there that really do love this addition to the game. It makes it much more exciting. Now, do watch these animals as they are running around because each one has their own specific way of reacting or its own animation. Now, the time and energy that's actually gone into creating these animals, wow, the design team did a really good job. Now, as I said, there are six dogs. You've got the retriever and then a retriever puppy. You've got the pincer and then a pincer puppy, the hound and then the hound puppy. I think for myself, if I think of those dogs and puppies, my favorite has to be the pincer. I love that facial expression, especially for the little puppy. It looks so adorable. I just want to grab it by its ears and rub my nose against its nose. It's so wonderful.
Now, just like with the kittens, each one of the puppies and the dogs are also available at certain levels. For example, like uh, the retriever is available from level 20 and 28, and the puppies from level 35. A nice little staggered balance, so you need to have two dogs first before you can have a puppy. After all, how can you breed and have babies if you don't have two of the originals to start with? Do you need to purchase all of them? No, you don't. Now, when it comes to these pets, everybody, what's your favorite? Are you a cat lover or a dog lover? Do you prefer to have the adult cat or the adult dog? Or do you prefer to have the kittens or the puppies? Now, why don't you leave a comment below and let me know? Because I'd be really interested to see what people's favorite pets within the game are. Now, when it comes to pets, there are some other animals that we put into this category as well. For example, you've got horses, you've got donkeys, and you've got bunnies. So, the pets in total are the following. They're dogs, they're puppies, there's cats, there's kittens, horses, donkeys, and bunnies. Now, of all of the pets, I think my favorite has to be the fluffy bunny, which is available from level 41. I so adore that. But I do also love the horses. Now, there are five horses. So this means that we can now have a maximum of four stables within the game. And each stable can hold three horses. And they're available at different levels as well, just to make it easier for us within the game. Now, they are going to cost coins, and the horses are going to cost a lot of vouchers. And again, depending on the horse, depends on its actions and the number of vouchers, and they do get quite expensive. Now, as I said, we've got the five horses. So what are they? Well, the first horse is your bay horse. And this one is going to be available from level 27 and then the second one at level 37. So horses start at level 27. And the last horse that you can get, which is the Libazina, this one is available at level 48. So there's a lot of levels there for you to work your way through to, again, pick and choose your horses. Now, of the five horses, uh, what are my favorites? Well, I think the Pinto has to be number one. Uh, I also like uh, the Palomino. I think this has a beautiful smile, and I do so like the look of that one's face. Look at that smile. Doesn't it look fantastic? And then the uh, Lipizzana has to be my third favorite. Okay, the Anadolcian and the Bay Horse, they're nice. I'd love to ride them, maybe. But uh, they're not my favorite ones, even though they do look good. And I do love the jaws on my horses. That strong, rugged look is absolutely fantastic. And look at that smile again on that horse. Now, the design and effort that's gone into creating these horses uh, is perfect. I think whoever actually put these together knows their horses very, very well. They look wonderful, and I do like them. Okay, once the horses uh, you have actually gone through this part of the video, you're going to be looking at the donkeys. Now, the donkeys are another one of my favorite animals, and I'm afraid that at the moment we only have the three. Now, I would love to get more donkeys within the game. Maybe at some stage in the future we can have another two added, uh, just like we have with the horses. But then again, uh, I, I think the donkeys we got at the moment are very uh, individual. They have their own character. For example, if we look at the province, uh, just look at the way he's got that wacky hairstyle, the ears sticking out at different angles, and then that tongue is always hanging down. I think that's so cool. Now again, the donkeys are available at different levels. They start off at level 43, and then you can get your final donkeys at level 55. Now the great thing about the donkeys, you can actually get three of the donkeys all at level 55. So if you wanted to, just hold off until that level, and then they are all available. Look at that tongue. As I said, it looks so cool. Now, the Anatolian, which is the next one I'm going to show you in the imagery in a second. Look at the donkey's teeth. Wow, the dentistry bill for that one must be quite high. They are perfect. Look at them. Wonderful. But then again, I think they need to change their hairdresser. 
because that hairstyle is so weird. I'm sorry, but it is uh, really strange. Yes, you do look funny and beautiful teeth. Now, my all-time favourite pet. Now, I'm going to come up to those in a second. Currently, we have two of these pets within the game. And please, 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 in the future, can we add a few more? I love the bunny rabbits. I love the way they hop around the farm. I love the way that they actually have their own specific action, whether it's smelling the flowers or just hopping to the left or to the right. It's so cool. Now, the rabbits, or the bunnies, should I say, they start at level 31. And you get a beautiful little bunny house that's quite artistic in its design. They're a little bit expensive, but not to worry. Uh, you have plenty of time to save up the coins, so 31 levels is enough time to save up 20,000. Uh, you can have the maximum of two houses, and each house will have three bunnies. So the potential for more bunnies within the game is quite high, and I cannot wait for the day to actually see them. Okay, right, those are your basic pets. Now, key things to remember about the pets, okay, there are quite a few. So you can pick and choose which pets you want to have. Now, the good thing about having the pets is you do get experience points. You do get expansion materials to help you within the game. The downside, okay, you're going to need a lot of vouchers, whether they be green, blue, purple, or gold. Now, each animal has a different cost, and sometimes you're going to have to use coins as well within your purchases to buy their homes. But they are a fantastic addition to the game. Okay, right, your next set of animals we're going to look at is the farm animals. And they start at the very, very beginning of the game with the chicken. Now, did you know one of our chickens is famous? His name is Chick Norris, and he is an international traveller. Do check out the newspaper. You can look at some of the places he's visited. Recently, he was in Vienna, I believe, and he's been all over the world. And I've even met him in person a few times. And he does look really good, if I do say so. Now, what are your farm animals? Well, you've got that chicken. You've got the cow, you've got the pig, you've got the sheep, and you've got the goat. And they're all available at different levels. Now, do you have to purchase them all at the same time? No, you don't. And they are staggered, just to allow you to be able to expand your farm, and then when you're ready, you can add them. So as an example, if you're looking at the chickens, they're available at level 1, level 12, and level 23. And that's a nice little balance. So it means that you're not having too many chickens within the game, you're not struggling too much, your stocks are not being... You're, you're not having too much stock within the barn because all of the materials that they're producing are stored in your barn. And when you're at a very low level, it's one big concern. Now, the great thing about the chicken and the cow, their turnaround time for produce is quite fast. So you can sell their milk, you can sell their eggs and make a lot of money. And people will pay full price for it. So do get them and do add all of the chickens and the cows to each of their areas or shelters where you put them. In regards to the pigs, the sheep and the goats though, the turnaround time is actually quite long. Now do take this into consideration though. Now I do like the farm animals a lot, they're really useful, they do give you a lot of resources and they make it much much easier. Now, of all of the farm animals, I think the pig and I have a really close relationship because we've both been inside the Baconator. And I must admit, I really did enjoy that. Now, during my trip to Helsinki, I actually got to see some of the live props that we actually use in the game. And I'll show you some of those images a little bit later in the video as well. I got to see the hen house. I got to see the Baconator. I got to see some of the actual animals animals and it was really cool now the baconator itself okay I climbed inside this and it's really heavy but after looking like this and then after I came out the baconator I looked like this oh my god it, I was so happy I lost so much weight during my time there it was awesome 
<laughs> Actually, no, I didn't. I probably was just as heavy as the time I was before I'd gone there as after. Still, it was nice to actually experience the Baconator, though. Now, each of these animals is going to give you a good resource. Okay, with the chickens, you know you get eggs, with the cow's milk, with the pig's bacon, and with the sheep, you get wool, and with the goats, it's goat's milk. Now, do sell everything for full price, as I've mentioned before. You can make a lot of coinage this way, and it's quite rewarding. Okay, the turnaround time for the pigs, the sheep, and the goats is quite long, but the cows and the chickens, it's not bad. So, again, they are your best returns. But the choice is yours. Now, each of the animal pens can hold a certain number of livestock. Now, you don't have to put all of them into each of those pens. If you wanted to, you can have, let's say as an example, you can have two sheep pens. Now, each sheep pen can hold a number of sheep. Now, do you have to put all of the sheep in there? No, you can mix and match. But just like with the pets, once you've actually placed them in that animal enclosure, that's it, they're stuck there forever. So if you want to mix and match and then not have all of the animals, the choice is yours. And it's the same with the purchases. You don't actually have to get them all. So as an example, like with the goats here, you can actually purchase three of the actual goat pens, so these goat yards. Now, do you have to have them? No, you don't. If you want to, you can just buy the one, you can buy the two, or you can buy all three. But they do take up space on the farm, so take this into consideration when it comes to the layout. And that's another great thing about all of the animals and the machines, etc., all being staggered. It means that you're not being overloaded. Now, each of the feeds that you're going to be needing for all of these animals does feed free. And to produce this feed, you're going to need this machine here, which is the feed mill. Now, the feed mill will produce your feed for your chickens, for your cows, for your pigs, for your sheep, and for your goats. Now, be careful. The time is difference between each of those. And once you've actually produced it, it will go into your storage, i.e. your barn, and it will stay there. And that's the same with any of the products you're producing from the animals. So do be aware that you might need to sell off some of the feed if you're making too much. Now, those real-life props, okay, that is the Baconator, and doesn't it look so cool? And here I am standing on the inside, and as you can see, I'm a lot skinnier. Here are the animals, and this is me sitting down next to them saying hello and just chatting away. I really enjoyed that. Now, one of the animals that is a new addition to the game is the bee, i.e. the honeybee, available from level 39. Now, unlike any of the other farm animals, okay, this one's really, really different, and is all dependent on the actual number of harvests you do. Now, it doesn't matter what level you are, once you've actually got that tree, then it will only add new hives as you progress through the game. So every time you do a harvest, and you do a certain number of harvests, a new hive is added. Now each hive can have up to three bees, and basically each hive's bees are more expensive than the previous hive's bees. And as you increase in the levels, then you do get a new hive added, and the tree size changes as well. Okay, your fishing area. Now, the fishing area is a really cool place, and there are some key animals in this area. You've got your cool-down seagull, which will sit on your water once you've actually caught the fish. Now, the other three key animals in the fishing area are your fish. They're available from level 27, the lobsters from level 44, and the ducks from level 50. Now, you are going to have to catch these animals, and the actual lobsters and the ducks are the easy ones. You don't have to put any effort into this at all. You just make the traps in the net machine, cast them into the water, they will be there for a number of hours, and then all of a sudden you will have a duck, and then you will have a lobster. The only trouble is that's not yet finished. Once you've caught the lobsters and the ducks, you need to put them into another machine to actually get their produce. So the turnaround time is quite long. But the products that they make can be sold for a lot of coinage. So that's actually quite nice. 
Now, the actual lobsters and ducks, okay, you can start off with the minimum of one. And then as you increase the machines by using coins and time, because it does take a lot of time between different expansions, and it does take a lot of coins, you can have up to a maximum of six. Now, with the lobsters, you're collecting tails. With the actual ducks, you're collecting feathers. And then you use those later within the game. Now, the one that does take a bit of time is the fish. Now, there are a lot of fish within this game, and I'm not going to show you all of the images, but in total, there are 43 different species of fish, and they're available from level 27. Now, to actually catch these fish, you're going to need to use lures. Now, if you're doing a fishing event, there are six key fish that you want to catch, and you can only catch them during that time. Every other fish is available at any other time. You start off with two spots, and you can build it up to 12 spots in total. Now, the red lure is actually the worm, then you've got your green, you've got your blue, you've got your purple, and then you've got your gold. So, any of those vouchers that you actually get within the game, you need to be turning them into lures to catch the fish. Now, depending on the spot, will depend on the kind of fish you can catch. Depending on the lure will depend on the kind of fish you can catch. And it will vary. There's a lot of information involved here. So do check out my fishing video for more information on this or the Heyday Wiki. The other great thing about the fish, you can get diamonds for the three key weights. So do check your fishing album inside your fishing hut. That's the bonus point. Okay, right, I've talked a lot about the animals. I really have enjoyed this. Now, do check out the Heyday Wiki. It's the second best resource, if I do say so, for information. This video is now over, so don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment, and I will see you all in the next one. So, have a happy Heyday now, and goodbye.